Well, I've been doggone. What are you doing here all dressed up? Where have you been? Oh, I've just been walking around getting some fresh air. Well, you certainly was dressed up. I didn't expect to run into you here. Well, come on. Let's get in the house. We ought to have been in bed an hour ago. Why didn't you go to bed? Well, I was sitting in the house there working on the books, and I had to go out and get some fresh air. I was over at Ruby Taylor's house tonight. I know. You told me where you was going. You done fallen in love with that gal. I know what you done done. I think the lot of all right. Come on, let's get in the room here. The thing I was going to do is to go to bed. It ain't late. It's just around 10 o'clock. Uh, that ain't late. You said it was just up tonight. Mm-mm, ain't you something? You, you ain't had no date tonight, is you? You know I ain't had no date. I done told you once that I don't care nothing about gals. I don't want to see none, and another thing, I don't want you to have so many dates. Stick to business and forget about the gals like I do. Well, you that near dressed up, though. Mm -mm. You got on your spats and your new suit. You've been somewhere, ain't you? I was just out walking, that's all. How come you didn't carry your walking cane with you? You got a hot-looking walking cane. I thought you was going to carry that with you whenever you went out walking. Walking cane. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, the walking cane. That's all right about the walking cane. Forget about that. That's the first time that I ever see you go out dressed up like that that you didn't carry your walking cane. Forget about the walking cane now, Amos. I suppose that you've been over talking love talk to Ruby Taylor and telling her that you was in love and a lot of mush. Well, we was over there talking for two, three hours. I liked her all right. Did you tell her about Mamie? Yeah, I told her about Mamie marrying somebody else. She knew all about it, though. I suppose you done forgot all about Mamie now. Take off your clothes. We ain't going to stay up here all night. You know, I was talking to Ruby, and she was telling me that from the first day she saw me, she liked me, she said. Mm. And I told her that I didn't pay no attention to her the first time I saw her, but I liked her all right now. Yeah, I stays at home and works on the books trying to pull the fresh air taxi cab company out the hole. And you was out talking love talk to Ruby Taylor. I was a gussie. Well, I, I got a right to have a date if I want one. I ain't got to stay at home every night. I work all day. Amos, I done told you that you're just wasting your time having dates with gals. Well, I saw you mad about it. I stays at home and works, and you goes out and has a good time. Well, what did you do on the books tonight? Here, hang my pants on that coat hanger up there. Mm -hmm. Now get them in the crease, too, because this is my good suit. i get them in there, all right. You is just wasting your time, Amos. That's all you're doing. Now I'm going to make a new rule in the company that hereafter the employers has got to get to bed when they finish work. I ain't never seen you so crabby as you is tonight. Go ahead, show me what you done done on the books and forget about this other thing. All right, here you is. Now, look at here. What is that? See there, I done added up them figures there. What is them figures? See here, $350, $600, $800, $400. You done added them all up, huh? Yeah. Where'd you get them figures from? We ain't got no figures like that, is we? We ain't got no figures like that, no, but anybody knows that you have got to have some big figures in the book. Who ever heard of a set of books that didn't have some big figures in the book? Oh, somebody would want to come in here and see these books. If we didn't have some figures like that, the people would think we was nothing. Well, what else have you done done? Well, I was sitting here tonight and I got an idea. You got an idea, huh? Yeah. What was it? Look here at the book a minute. Well, what have you got there now? Well, I said to myself, it's time to declare a dividend. So I declared one. You done declared a dividend tonight, did you? That's just what I done done. Well, where is it? It's done gone now. I declared it, though. I had it here for a little while. Well, what happened to it after you done declared the thing? Well, 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 what happened to it then? I put it back in the company. Before you could bat your eye, I slap it right back in the company. Mm -mm. You don't mean to tell me you done declare dividend and slap it right back, huh? Yeah, see here? D I V D E D E N. 
dividend was declared tonight by Andrew Brown at 7 o'clock. I bet doggone. You done declared a dividend, ain't you? That's what you get, you see, by going out. You done missed that dividend. You see, that shows you what gals will do for you. Well, I didn't know that uh, you was going to do that. What else did you done done? Well, I was sitting here looking over the capital of the company, and I say to myself, the only way I can pull this company out the hole is to do one thing. You gonna do one thing, huh? Yeah. What's that? What, 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 what you fixing to do now? Well, I was reading something in the paper yesterday about uh, some big company that was doing the thing that we can do. We can do the same thing they're doing. Well, what was it? What was it? Explain it to me. The only way we can make a lot of money is to float a bond issue. What are you going to do? I'm going to float a bond issue. You're going to float a bond issue? Yeah. Where are you going to float it? Anywhere. The thing will float. I don't care. What do you mean? You're going to get a lot of bonds and float them out on the water or something? Amos, it ain't no use to try to explain nothing to you. I don't even know what you're talking about. You talk about floating something around or floating bonds around. What, what are you talking about? Never mind. Just leave the financial end of the whole thing to me. You don't know nothing about books. Here, take my shoes and put them up there on the table. Lay your shoes down on the floor there. You ain't got no business having your shoes up on top of a table here. Come on now. Put on your nightgown now like I got mine on and let's get to bed. The trouble with you is you waste all your time on gals. Oh, somebody at the door. Come in. Well, look who's here. Here's Fred. Hello, Fred. Hello, boys. Say, they want one of you boys on the telephone. I forget which one they asked for. Go ahead. Answer the telephone, Amos. And if that's the kingfish, tell them I'll sleep. All right, I'll go ahead and answer the telephone then. Well, how is everything, Andy? Well, I'll tell you, Fred... I was having a lot of trouble with him. He got gals on his brain. I've been sitting here tonight working on the books, and Amos has been over to Ruby Taylor's house. He's got to cut that out, you know it. He can't go see gals at night and keep his mind on business. I thought I saw you go out tonight, Andy. Well, uh, I'll tell you, Fred. Uh, I worked on the books so long that I had to go out and take a long walk, give him brain rest. I was tired out, just had to get there. Well, you can't blame Amos, I don't guess. This girl, Ruby Taylor, is a pretty nice little girl. Oh, yeah, she's nice, all right. But a man in business ain't got no right going out at night seeing gals, that's all. Well, I've been doggone. Guess who that was on the telephone? Who was it? Uh, that was Rosie Wade. Uh, she told me to tell you that you left your walking chain over there tonight. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, doggone, you was done telling me. Ha-ha, <laughs> doggone. Ah, <laughs>